Alrighty, fishmonger people, I am back. I was just down fishing in this little area over here. Kind of came up, kind of walked over in this area, and I found this other standing body of water, which I guess technically isn't the ocean. Oh, look at this. It looks like Italy over here. But, um, this, look at that. That's kind of weird. Sicily and Italy. So this is um, not not uh, um, sea scorpion over here. I'm actually catching blackwater whiptail, which... Not really a great fish that I like to catch, but if you're looking for it, you'll find it here. So my actual coordinates are 67.4, You can see where I'm at here, standing on this uh, this area, right? And again, we're, I was over here before, facing this direction. So now I'm here, and again, I'm facing this direction. Like, I'm looking this way. And that's really the key, depending on what time of day it is, is the direction you're facing because that's going to give you that nice, bright color on the bobber. So without even making any changes, again, I'm at 3 and 80. Bring up the overlay. Just kind of cast a couple times to show that I am where I need to be, and I am. Um, I can, now that I know it's a uh, Blackwater Whiptail here, if I have bait, I'll try putting that on. I don't think I have bait, but let's see. Use Blackwater Whiptail bait. Nope. Oh, yeah, something came up. Cool. I had Blackwater Whiptail bait. Nice. So now I should catch a lot of blackwater whiptail right here because I've got the bait on. And if I had an actual fishing rod and I had a way to put bobbers on that fishing rod, then I would be in much, much better shape. You know, I should check to see if um, Traveler's Tundra Mammoth actually sells even the cheap fishing rod. Even if I had that cheap, it's an actual fishing rod and not a stick, I could put my bait on there, which... You know, it's either plus 75 for the bright, bright baubles or, you know, plus 200 for the Worm Supreme. And, you know, that'll probably push you up into the um, the territory where you're catching a lot more enormous fish than you are regular fish. Because, uh, you know, 200 enormous fish is like, I think, twice as much fish as 200 regular fish. I guess the way it works out. I'm not 100% sure on the math on that, I forget. But I think it's... um. Every time you fillet five of the enormous, you get 20. Every time you fillet five of the normal, you get 10. Every time you fillet five of the tiny ones, I think you just get five. So I think it kind of works up like that. It goes from five, 10 to 20. And I could be wrong. I, I completely forgot what the smaller ones were. I catch so many big ones now that I just, I forget what the little ones do. But um, as you can see here, you know, this is a good location for a uh, blackwater whiptail. If you wanted to catch uh, some of these guys and... Um, you know, work on your net pagel thing if you just want to catch some details. So I'm going to let this uh, catch up maybe to like 10 just to kind of make sure I'm at 100%. Although I got a feeling based on the color of the bobber I am going to be. I'll stop this and I'm going to go to like a different zone and uh, try to see if I can find a different location, hook it up some other kind of fish um, and uh, see what else I can catch up because um, I don't really play horde, but I know a lot of you guys do. And actually, I think the majority of the soldiers nowadays are horde. I really should be making more horde videos than I am Alliance, but, um, you know, actually, I, I lie. I, I do play horde, um, but not actively because actually I actually have a couple of level 100 hordes on this uh, server. I just don't play the server anymore. That's my main issue. I have another server that's pretty much all Alliance, and I play that, um, which is why I mainly play my Alliance characters. Actually, what I did was all my horde characters that I really liked over here, I made new characters on that other server, and now I have, like, level 100 Alliance characters on one server that all mirror the level 100 characters on another server, so... I got the best of both worlds, I guess you could say. Um, alrighty, 11 for 11. Good deal. So I'm gonna hit F7. Stop this up. Uh, to bring down the overlay, I'll let this... I'll catch this one last fish, just because I don't like to let fish go to waste. Now stop this video, and I'm gonna pop on over to a different location. And, um, see what we can catch up. Alright, 